favorite Outer Banks character and why is it JJ? <laughs> like I already know. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me Carol. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. I am so excited for today's video because we're doing another battle video, which is so fun. So if you didn't know, I have a series here on my channel where I read celebrities' favorite books and I decided to create this battle series where I battle these celebrities against each other to find out who has the best reading taste and i'm so excited to be battling the boys from outer banks i love them so much if you're watching this video the day i uploaded season two was released on friday so i'm so excited and i'm celebrating that by making this video <laughs> i have a part one if you want to watch that of this battle video where i read chris pratt's chris evans and chris hemsworth's favorite books and battled them against each other and that was really fun so i'll link that in the cards in the description box if you guys are interested but today we are battling <laughs> chase stokes jonathan davis and rudy panko against each other to see who has the most amazing reading taste out there. Now this is only for fun because let's be honest, who am I to be judging these Hollywood stars? Literally nobody, yes, you're right. So this is just for fun. So we're gonna start off with Chase Stokes who plays John B on the TV show. All the articles I mentioned will be linked in the description box so you guys can read them because they were really fun. And they were basically doing an interview with him and Madeline Klein, who plays Sarah on the TV show. And they asked them what stuff they use most during quarantine. And he mentioned a book, which I was so thankful for. So the book he, he mentioned was Prince Neptune by Cody Simpson. And he said, this is a wonderful book of poetry that I've been rereading. I first met Cody backstage at a Justin Bieber concert I brought my sister to when I was still living in Orlando. We reconnected because he watched Outer Banks and reached out and was like, hey man, I'm a big fan of the show. And then I sent him some of my writing. I went through a breakup a little bit before quarantine and it was with somebody I'd been with for almost 10 years. I've been writing about it, drawing inspiration from the isolation of quarantine. And there's a similar kind of heartbreak involved. So for me as a young poet who's finding my footing, Cody's an inspiration. I was like, Cody Simpson? That sounds familiar. I was like, I kind of remember this name from somewhere. And then it hit me. Cody Simpson is this dude. I knew him as like Justin Bieber number two because they both got famous like kind of like together. They were kind of like competing against each other. And that's Cody Simpson. If you used to go to Walmart, um, you would find a lot of like toys from him, like dolls and bracelets. I even, I think I bought a shirt from him, which is weird because I didn't listen to his songs, but I was like, he's cute. So, so that's what we're going to be reading for Chase's favorite book and I'm excited. Enough rambling, let's get right on with this video. The Outer Banks, paradise on earth. I was reading it and whenever I read poetry books, I don't really understand what's going on But I'm gonna expose myself. I usually have no idea what I'm reading <laughs> I'm like there's probably a metaphor in here somewhere, but I honestly just don't get it I was reading it and I wasn't understanding a thing But I was like this probably makes sense to someone who has a little bit more brain power than I do And then I finished it and I was like, okay, there were a couple good ones in here Let me check on Goodreads what people said about it and people really seem to dislike it. Most of the critiques were, I understand nothing from this book. My problem was the poems were kind of short. I don't feel like you can really make an impact with one line. In my mind, I can move mountains. It doesn't really hit that deep, you know? And what I found most interesting, and I think one of the reasons why John B, John B, oh sorry, Chase Stokes really enjoyed this book is because they're both famous. And in this book, he's talking about how fake people are and how money really doesn't bring happiness. And he thought maybe that's why he enjoyed this book so much because he was able to relate to that aspect. This is a poem, it says, I was up at 5 a.m. thinking about my life in Hollywood and all of the people I'd met and the sheer utter artificiality of it all. 
that you can feel in your bones and under your skin, no matter how many glasses of champagne they hand you or how many cameras they flash in your face, trying to pin you up with some buddy young starlet on your arm. I saw them in that moment that he, that the only decent thing left to do was to go surfing. So like these poems, I feel like were the best out of this collection. I really enjoyed this deeper dive into being famous and what it's really about but i really didn't have a problem with this book and i understand why for chase who's writing his poetry collection right now how this book can be a big inspiration for him because it's written by another actor who made it like he wrote a book and i feel like i might give this like a a three or four star i'll make my mind up when i'm editing and i'll put it on the screen so you guys can check it out but yeah we finished chase's favorite book. Hey guys, so I'm back and today we're going to be reading Jonathan Davis' favorite book. He plays Pope. I was in so much trouble because I had found Rudy's and Chase's favorite books, but I couldn't find his anywhere. And then I came across this article and I was like, thank the Lord. I can't believe we found it. This is an article by a book of, and the last question they asked him was, if you were a book, what book would you be and why? So his answer was, I think I will be Miles Morales' Spider-Man comic book. I am super nerdy. The Spider-Man in the Multiverse movie that came out reminds me of myself and how I was growing up as a kid who is in this double-sided world and wanted more to do more. There's a lot of big expectations and you're just trying to fulfill them. You just try to go for your passion and be the best version of yourself that you can be. That is where I am, trying to be the best version of myself and trying as hard as I can on the things that I have to do. Which was so sweet, like I loved his answer, that was amazing. And it's really fun because all of these celebrities I've read like, no one has mentioned a comic book. And this is really exciting because I am not a comic book reader. The only comic books I own are Archie's. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of other comic books to compare this one to. I, the other comic book I've read was recommended by my friend and it was Batman the Killing Joke. So that's the only other comic book I've read in my whole entire life from these like superhero stories. So I'm really excited to read this one and see if I like it more or less than Batman's story. So yeah, enough rambling, let's read it. <laughs> comic book and I actually loved it. This is a lot more lighthearted and funny than the Batman story was. Those drawings on the Batman comic book scared me so badly. I was kind of creeped out by it but these were cute. I had a lot of fun with the story and I was rooting for the character and the drawings were so cool and the dialogue was amazing and I really really enjoyed this which I wasn't expecting to because I watched the Miles Morales movie and I thought it was okay but I was pretty confused but this one explained it well and I was able to follow along with the, the story it was just a lot of fun and I'm gonna give it a five stars I need to read more comic books because that was actually such a fun experience so if you guys have any recommendations for me please let me know in the comments down below because I'm honestly mind blown that I've never read more comic books in my life like this this was so cool and it's definitely what he said in that interview Miles is just trying to find himself he's really struggling but he's trying his best to stay true to who he is and what he believes in and that honestly is so cool if you have been putting off reading comic books because you're scared like I was of just not understanding it just read it. Read it and it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be cool and you're gonna have a great time. I think that he might win. So, I don't know, just putting it out there. Putting it out there. I don't know. And now, the moment we have all been waiting for. I'm gonna be reading Rudy's favorite book. This was actually pretty easy to find. He did a YouTube video with Mary Claire and he showed his whole bookshelf and I was like, marry me right this instant. Marry me, please, Jesus. Like that man, 
can't, I can't, um, ooh, it's gonna be a little hard not to be biased because, <gasps> what a dream. Anyway, so <laughs> he showed his whole bookshelf and then he got to a part where they asked him, what's your favorite book? And he had an answer. And I'm gonna include a little snippet of what the, his favorite book is. Now my top five favorite books, number one would go to Zen in the Art of Archery by Eugene Harrigal. I was really excited when I found the video. I was like, oh yes. We got a video of him saying it. I'm so excited. And then I went to look at what the book was about. And it's a self-help sort of book, which is not my cup of tea. <laughs> so I'm gonna try my best to read this whole book because Rudy. The book sets four theories about motor learning and control that provide lessons for learning any sport or physical activity. For example, a central idea in the book is that three years of, of practice, a physical activity becomes effortless both mentally and physically as if the body executes complex and difficult movements without conscious control from the mind. Let's read before I just start crying because I love him so much. Okay, see y'all soon. chance that I might have to not keep reading this book because I might fall asleep and I have other things to do today um before you come for me please listen to what I have to say I've decided to not finish this book now hold your horses wait I know that if I force myself to read a book that I'm not really loving I will be back in a reading slump and that means another book to break so i'm hoping that you guys don't want me to go through that and that you forgive me for not finishing this and my last reading slump happened after my low-key video because i read like three self-help books there so i just i'm i'm not happening i read 60 percent of the book did i enjoy what i read yes it was interesting it talks about how focus and determination can make you do things you're not even aware you're capable of it constantly talks about the bow and the arrow and how to position it and even though you think you're not going to be able to do it right if you practice if you put your mind to it then you will it's really interesting and i really like the metaphor and how he He's just talking to a master and his master is giving him advice. Like that's really interesting, but it's so hard. And I don't want to do that. I just don't want to go through that. <laughs> As is his favorite book, I am now 100% certain that he's a Greek god that just came here to make us mortals feel useless because he is talented, he's hot, and he's an intellectual. So how would I read the books just based on my enjoyment? On third place, we have Rudy. I'm sorry, honey, I love you and I'll still marry you if you're interested. Hit me up, call me. I'm available and I'm single. So he goes on third place just because I couldn't finish the book. So I feel like, yeah, third place. Second place, we have Chase. It was a fun book. You might be thinking, are you seriously giving second place to Cody Simpson? Yes. <laughs> it was fun. Okay, and first place, the king of all kings, based only on my enjoyment, we have Jonathan. Um, I really enjoyed reading the comic book. Uh, this is a surprise. I didn't expect this order, but it's really fun, and I honestly had a great time reading it, so that's exciting. If you want me to do a video where I read only Rudy's favorite books, I can do that because of the Mary Claire video, so if you're interested, please let me know. I would love to do it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to be part of this wonderful family. I would love to have you here. We just hit 5k, which is insane. I love every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for subbing. <laughs> Here's a heart. I love you. And yeah, I'm gonna go now. Hopefully you'll see me in my next video. And I hope you have a great day or night or afternoon, wherever you are. I'm with you in your heart, okay? That rhymed, okay, bye. <laughs>